to um, Walker's track. I'm just taking a turn off to head down to um, Gibson's hut. Have a look at that. I think it's only about one and a half to two k's off the road I was on, so worth having a look when you're driving past. A bit more time up my sleeve now. So I decided to give Mount Gibbo a miss. So I've got a bit of time to kill now, so I'll have a look around this area here and see what's around. Um, I'll go to Wheeler's Hut after this. I think these have all been burnt down in the fires. They've just been reconstructed recently, so by the Victorian Hut Association, I think. So we'll soon find out, I suppose. All right, just coming into Gibbo's Hut. Or Gibson's Hut, I should say. Very nicely done. Fireplace, all lined. Looks like they're still in the process of finishing it off, but a bit of firewood down there. They've done a great job fixing this up. Nice little fire pit, tables, nice grassed area over there. The hut itself, done a great job. There's a nice little stream just running down here. come over to like the camping area very well maintained drop blue over there a couple of little grass fire pits they've done an exceptional job here that's great if you're ever heading to Mount Pinabar and you want to have a crack in the morning this is probably the perfect spot to stop I reckon um, yeah Gibson's hut We'll go check out Wheeler's Hut now. It's a bit further down the road, but um, have a look at that as well. So, yeah, it's nice, eh? Hey?
Okay, I've just come up to this waterfall to have a look, but it's actually a construction site at the moment. They're making tracks. There's a waterfall up there. Can't really see it in the GoPro. I'll get the drone up. I'm not allowed to go up there because it's a construction site, which is fair enough, I suppose. So um, I'll fly the drone and see if I can get some footage of it. A little bit out of the way, but I'm here now, making the most of it. cool is that? I've just been painting and varnishing in here. These are the young people I just saw at uh, Gibson's hut. They did a great job. Got the drop toilets over there. All varnished up the door. Yeah, cool. Done a pretty remarkable job of that. I never saw it before it got burnt down, but that's uh, pretty good.
creek running over there, but I couldn't see any real designated access to get to it. So, all right, I'm just gonna keep pushing on. I gotta, gotta get back sort of to the carry on Banamba Road so I'll make my way home. I'm not exactly sure the best way to do that. All right, I'll just keep following this road the way I come in. I think it's uh, Cattleman's Creek Road and see where that takes me. I've just jumped on the Paddy Joy track. Don't know. It's sort of pointing me in the direction of Carryong and Banambra Road. I don't really know. Um, guess I'll just uh, wing it like I normally do. Check uh, my maps again here, see if we go right or left. Okay, so I turned right onto Wild Boar Track or Wild Boar Creek Track. I really don't know where I'm going and this will take me out to carry on Banamba Road, but it's putting me a lot further back I want it to be. Still on the uh, wild ball track. It's gone from being really out and out now it's into a shaley rocky base. section. This uh, wild boar track, or oh, I'm not sure it's wild boar creek track, it's actually a pretty good track. It's steep, um, you go from a shitty sort of dirty ready clay surface into like a hard rock shale and um, you get up there, like up, up near around about 1460 meters, it's just been a consistent, consistent climb with a couple of switchbacks. I don't know where this next, what this next track is, and or, or, or which way I've got to go, left or right. Oh, I went left. I don't know if it's right or not. I'm going to check your maps. Five o'clock. I left Adaminibi at approximately eight o'clock. So that's nine hours worth of driving. Oh, the fucking rock steps. Oh, I'm in the wrong gear. All right, try that again. 
I left Adaminity at roughly 8 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock now. That's 9 hours of driving pretty much. And I have covered 220 Ks. And the first hour and a half would have been from Adaminibi to Tom Grogan. That's probably 100 k so say seven and a half hours to do 120 kilometers. Yeah, it's been a been a long drive. I just found a trick up here. I'll have a look at this. Just up here. Country. 